Get the team feeding into you and you just alt them here. They're gonna try to do it. Seeing that speed is actually gone again, Ninja can stay a bit safer. And maybe he usually plays aggressive, so I don't even want to say down when they squeeze their enemies right under their own turret. Whoop! Looks like they may actually get Prox in. There it is. Squeeze them in, force them behind. It's 405 to 409. Oh. Uh oh, Seraph actually, he's no move speed gonna help him uh, as he's in combat, but he's just gonna walk right out of his trundle. Pearson wants to chase him. That's the Chaos Storm. They finish it off. It looked like he actually had a good timer. Gets a little behind for yeah. them, and they're trying Door to. Door number two. <laughs> trying to act on everything. When TSM gets a chance to react, they're always on the right end of the play, and that's going to be Lod and Hakuo going down. Through it, this is going to be up to a miracle steal from Graves. You know, Proxen can try and fire the ultimate in, or even He's send got his time. body in. He does have need flash. Vision. They can go for the steal. Ninja gets there. Does nobody have a ward? Smite fight. Ninja, put your ward in. You have a far sight. They're just taking it. Wait, yeah. There it is. Oh, he doesn't get it. They put it in at the last second, so they can't kill the far sight. But they that kill is going to be, or rather, turret in the mid lane, I should say. Oh, look at those hops. Oh, bye bye, Proxy. All the stuff, faster minions. Pew. The inhibitor turret. And they are going to have the first inhibitor in the mid lane, but they have all the pressure towards the top side. TSM, they like to stay a bit rougher for Seraph. He might end up having to try and pull a sneaky teleport to get out of here. Otherwise, he's dead. Ooh, he just outside the gravity field. Nope. Subjugate onto Bjergsen. But three's a crowd, and Seraph thinks so too. He goes down 40 seconds. Two now is the second half. See where the troubles were in the first half of the split and figure out how to fight those wrongs. Bjergsen. Very, very low, gets knocked up. Seraph can get on him and bite, and it's actually gonna be the kill going over to Ninja, who's very low. There's a kill coming in for Lod. Haku Oster, or rather Biofrost, strikes back. Sven on the outside, really just toying, looking for a bait, but Envy knows their priority target. They know who they're gonna focus. The blast from Haunter dodges. The end of the line coming in from Proxen, and it's a huge amount of damage because that would have killed Haunter, taking away a lot of the damage to TSM's fight. Pressure to work with. Oh! Roxen going down, and Sven Garen right back at. And eh, nope, Ninja's not even gonna try and go over there. So TSM Baron gonna join TSM Infernal Drake. He gives them one. All right, last Whoa. ditch effort here from Envy. They're going in. Concer more than likely to try and fight that Hakuo on the back. Not huge to be hit by the arrow when you can see Envy still somewhat want to take this fight. Running for the fountain, they're going to look for the home guards to get back, but they use every bit of HP now, and TSM's able to drain that to zero, along with the inhibitors. All three are down. Actually, the mid one spawns back up as the Nexus turrets are going to be going down soon. TSM looking to pad the stats a little bit and get those fantasy points in for their fantasy friends. 30 minutes on the clock, 13 to four. TSM very close to closing out game two with a few more touches on the Nexus. I believe 50 gold goes to double lift as TSM take.